Hi everybody, uh, I just want to share a lovely case here um, that I just saw. It's a young patient, gymnast or has been a gymnast for many years, has chronic dorsal wrist pain and this is now the MRI. And there wasn't like the ultrasound didn't show much. So let's have a look. Um, let me just open this up here properly. Okay, so we can see the MRI here and the good thing is we have the marker so we know where the pain is. And when we scroll through, we see some edema there, but you know, we don't really see anything straight from the get-go. And I think this is a nice example how sometimes contrast can really, really help. We see there's some faint edema on the dorsal aspect of the um, scaphoid. We got a little bit of a hypertrophic ridge here on the dorsal aspect here where the dorsal intercarpal ligament inserts. This is exactly where the pain point is. On the coronal, we see it's not a fracture. You know, we see this ridge here where we see some edema around it in the joint capsule, bone marrow edema, some bony ridge on the dorsal aspect of the scaphoid. And now when you look at the post-contrast study, we can see there is like an intense enhancement here, exactly at this wrist or uh, uh, ridge rather, here in this midsection of the dorsal scaphoid. And the same can, we can see on the sagittal here. Um, this is from radial to ulnar now. We can see this the pain marker, bony ridge. And this is exactly where the dorsal intercarpal ligament inserts, or at least part of it. And yeah, that's that's the finding already. So what is it? Um, I did some researching and so on. We didn't find much, but there was one case report from Radiopedia where they show something similar, soft tissue edema here, tiny bony ridge, with a little bit of bone edema. And in this case, they called it a scaphoid impaction syndrome. And specifically like in, also in a gymnast, but they don't provide any references. I tried to find something. I didn't find any radiology lit literature about this. Uh, there's some clinical articles about this. Sometimes I think people also use the term dorsal wrist impingement, but you know, you can have different reasons for these. You can uh, impinge the tendons, although it's quite extreme. Um, some have this idea that you actually impinge onto the joint capsule, but this is not that. So this is different. This is now, I would assume, a impaction between, let's go to our case, an impaction of the scaphoid here in forced hyperextension. So we have a hyperextension like a standing on your hands. You go, the wrist goes all the way this, this comes straight. So this ridge will actually cause an impingement uh, here with the dorsal part of the radius, although we don't see any secondary changes here. And then with chronic impaction or irritation, we get a hypertrophic and it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy here. Three hours later. So I posted this video uh, a first version of this video here on the MSK Radiology School, which is a free community for any radiologist that want to learn MSK Radiology, resident or even board certified radiologist of any age and also for musculoskeletal radiologists, also like for myself, as you will see here just in a second. So I posted this video with the scaphoid impaction theory. Um, so Colin here pointed out whether this could be an osteosteoma and I think I had this briefly in my mind when I looked at the case, but I for you know I went over the differential too quickly, probably because of the history of a gymnast and uh, finding a case quickly like this. But actually, after Colin posted this, and Colin is one of my previous fellows, I was actually doing some more looking and more researching, and I found some article which looks pretty same. Uh, let's let's go here. So this is the article here and you can see uh, this was an osteosteoma and they talk about the vessel sign which we can try to find out here later but you can see that would be a sclerotic nidus or nidus here same location here focal hyper nucleate enhancement uh, or uptake rather and the MRI with a focal irritation also at the origin or insertion of the dorsal intercarpal ligament there might be a nidus more here and it has a little bit more edema than our case and it's more extensive and looks more inflammatory than the very focal thing that we see and this is what they refer to this vessel but this was you know um, 
osteoclast, osteoblast. So I'm not sure how, how good we can separate osteosteoma from something like a mechanical hypertrophy. I wonder whether there is, you know, how easy this is actually to separate. So I put actually the osteosteoma as a differential in my report now. Uh, I haven't finished the report. I, I first did the video and then uh, do the report. So I have it now in my report. I recommended the CT. So we want to see how this looks on CT. Uh, not this one, but actually from my case. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so I will keep you posted. And if you want to know how this will be turning out, just make sure you come here to the community. This is uh, the MSK radiology community. It's a free community. We learn together. We share together and it's it's free for everybody so you can just come here you will land on this page um you can create an account for free and if you join you also get a, the five minute near MRI masterclass for free here in the classroom which you can see and this is really a very good offer it's a great course and you will learn how to report near MRI in under five minutes anyways so if you want to see how this case will continue i will share the ct images here in the community section where is it here i will post the ct cases here or images and i will also let you know if there is any surgical you know correlation with this and yeah so this is now the new video uh, this was still the old one and then we'll see how that turns out thanks for watching this is what i teach people in the fellowship how to find solutions for unknown cases like this so if you're interested just book a call with us if you want to know more about the virtual msk fellowship so you can also have similar strategies in place to actually solve these cases. And that's it. Bye-bye.